Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to learn how to transfer photos and videos from your Nikon Z6 or Z6 II camera, and actually, this process works for any Nikon Z series camera. But let's focus on the Nikon Z6 for now. Keep watching till the end, and I'll explain why. As you may already know, the Nikon Z6 is the first generation camera in the Nikon Z series. It supports a single memory card, specifically an XQD card, which was formerly known as a CF Express card. It's a powerful and high-speed card, but what do you do if you forget your card reader or if it stops working? Well, that's when you can use a Type-C cable to transfer data from your camera to either a Windows or Mac system. Transferring data to Windows is pretty straightforward, but it can be a bit tricky on a Mac if you don't know the correct process. So let's go through it step by step. First, locate the Type-C port on your camera. It's available on the left side panel. Make sure you have a high-speed Type-C cable. Insert one end of the cable into the camera's Type-C port and insert the other end into your Mac. Once that's done, turn on the camera. Now, if you're expecting to see an icon or notification on your Mac like you would when connecting a memory card, SSD, or hard drive, you might be surprised. There won't be any specific icon for the Nikon Z6 that you just connected. To proceed, go to the menu on your Mac and search for Image Transfer. Click on the Image Transfer option and a window will pop up. On the left side, you'll see Nikon Z6 mentioned, indicating that the camera is connected via the Type-C cable. Click on Nikon Z6 and you'll see all the photos and videos stored on the memory card. Now, select the photo or video you want to transfer to your Mac or any SSD or HDD connected to your Mac. If you want to import to a specific hard drive, look at the bottom area where you'll find an import to option. Click there and choose the dedicated option where you want the images to be transferred. If you want to transfer multiple photos and videos, go ahead and select them all. Once you're done with your selection, simply click on the download button and all the images and videos you've selected will be downloaded to the chosen drive. If you want to transfer all the images and videos, just click on download all. And that's how simple it is. Remember, at the beginning, I mentioned the Nikon Z6 camera. Let me tell you why. The Nikon Z6 doesn't support the power supply feature, but the Nikon Z6 II does. So if you're dealing with a large amount of data that will take some time to transfer, it's important to note that it may drain the camera's battery. However, with the Nikon Z6 II, this won't be an issue. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, feel free to comment below and subscribe for more content. Happy shooting!